there's a there's a Facebook uh, site called facebookcom dostureg which is where people could download the draft of the constitution in Egypt, uh, could participate in five different topics, and uh, they could see on a map how citizens are participating. They could they could see also the the, the citizen response. They could vote for those citizen response. And since since, since what since this was integrated to Facebook, we have a lot of demographics. Uh, well, we receive around 68,000 participants, and we have demographics. We we know how many female, how many male, which ages they had, uh, and at the end there were 981 editings. Demographics it's very important for for uh, institutions to make decisions who should they target. However, uh, it's sometimes it, it's the most important thing is not to get in, to get in this kind of uh, projects is not to get the demographics. The most important thing is to get the report. So. If you can get the demographics without actually telling the reporter to t tell you their age, their, their, their gender, much better. Um, um, other governance projects include, for example, um, public, public, um, public services reports, um, uh, telecommunication problems in Mexico. For example, we've, the government has identified, and this is, this is real, Eric was there, in, on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. it's impossible to make a phone call a five-minute phone call, and we have this here. Uh, at 6 p.m., most uh, mobile operators fail. We don't know why, but that's, that's the data. And the government has it, so they're trying to figure it out. Um, also, in Bogota, public services, uh, civic innovation. This is when we work with uh, organizations. In Mexico, right now, uh, very important stuff is happening in terms of education. Um, so we are receiving... Imp uh, uh, the panzazo, it's a Mexican expression that means that you barely pass a class. Um, and uh, uh, panza, it's the stomach, so it means like you, you, you dive. Um, so we're receiving all the information how schools are in Mexico. Uh, uh, students are telling us if the teacher falls, falls asleep at the, at, the, at the class, if he doesn't come, if there's no enough material. So we're crowdsourcing all that information, and then we're uh, putting it together with other NGOs, and now they're working on, a, on an education reform using crowdsourcing information. Uh, uh, using Mapbox, we also uh, are tracking, unfortunately, a very a very um, important topic in Mexico is violence against journalists. So we are tracking all violence in, against journalists in Mexico and Central America, and we are, and we are um, making this information public to citizens. And um, in the north of Mexico, as you might know, there's a lot of violence also in terms of drug dealing. Uh, so there's this kind of uh, projects where citizens are reporting via Twitter mainly, and we are verifying the information, we are connecting the institutions uh, so they can receive the reports, the police or the military, so they can receive the reports and act upon that information. There's a tool, unfortunately, we have to, cr to create this tool, where citizens can track the best route to go to, uh, for, pro for point D to point B, not based on the shorter distance, but based on the less probability to, 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 to be robbed or to be in, in, in the middle of a gunfight. Um, and this is a very, very powerful tool that is actually helping uh, li uh, in, in the quality of life in Monterrey. So um, I'm going to, perhaps later or tomorrow, we can, I can show you a, a, a real live demo or, of the platform. I just wanted to show you uh, like the, how, how it works and what can it be done with it. Um, we, right now, um, we are in the middle of trying to, to launch a new, a new product. Um, we... we we have identified uh, that um, it's very sexy to be, to be involved in politics. It's very sexy to be involved during the election time. But, we, but when, when election, after election happens, then we don't care about our government anymore, and we stop being involved. So we, somehow we need to make bureaucracy or the government sexy also. So, so we can, citizens can be also involved in, in, in governments, and, uh, in, uh, because that's where the real work happens. Um, so... Um, we can't do without our governments, so we, can, we have to make, it, make them more, effe more effective and efficient. So we're trying to create this tool for citizens to create their own communities. Um, um, we, the, idea, the idea for it, it's, right now it's, it's, in, it's in beta mode, it's only works on, it only works on iPhone, 
but the idea for it is for citizens to create their own communities around the, any topic they want and start sharing information about that particular topic. It tried to be focused about neighborhood stuff, so citizens can participate and say what's going on in their neighborhood, if there's uh, a problem or a party or whatever. But uh, the, the, our most important uh, thing that we want to, to prove with this is that um, we can't make better decisions on how to improve uh, citizens' life if we limit public participation just to voting every once in a while. Um, we, need, we, we are not consumers, we are citizens, and, and we're, if we, we cannot fix government if we don't fix citizenship. So these tools are trying to, to, to do that. In a, in a very broad way, this is what CityBox is doing.